Hi guys, welcome back to Manifest with Armini. This is Armini and I'm a Love Attraction Consultant. This video is about the question. Here it goes. Hi Armini, can you make a video what to do if nothing is changing in your life for so long? It's been two years, I'm on the same page. Even though I'm, I am into LOA for more than seven years and I don't think that I am doing something wrong, but still, nothing new. It's so hard to ignore reality for so long. This is a great question because so many people can relate to this. And the answer is very clear if you allow it to be. Um, so it says, if nothing is changing your life for so long, it's been two years and I'm on the same page. Okay, well, you're not on the same page. It's just another page that looks the same um, because things are constantly changing. Um, nothing is, life is about movement. There's constant movement, constant motion. Um, it seems like nothing has changed. It seems that way too because your vibration has been more or less the same um, in certain areas of your life and that is what you've been manifesting over and over again. So you're not on the same page but it looks a lot like the other pages, okay? And it may seem like not an important thing and I'm being nitpicky about saying, well, you're not on the same page but it's not a small thing because what seems like a small thing will make a huge change if you look at it that way. So I suggest you look at it that way, that you are not on the same page. You are f far past that page. It's just that that page looks, you're creating that page to look the same as, um, you know, earlier in the book of your life. And it doesn't have to be that way. And I'll show you how. So it says, even though I am into um, love attraction for more than seven years, and I don't think I'm doing something wrong, but still nothing new. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are into the law of attraction and obviously this is because we, you know, it's like a promise of, of having everything you want and understand the law of attraction for what it actually is, not what it's commercially advertised as, not what it's, um, you know, this trendy aspect of it, of how like creating your own reality is a lot, a lot about manifesting has been mis, um, is, is misinformation. So um, just want to let you know that, um, but <coughs> yes, law of attraction, if you understand it at its core is the way to, that you create and that you can choose the reality that you're experiencing. You don't need to know a lot about it in order to use it to your advantage. So it doesn't really matter how long you've been into it. It's just about how much are you in implementing the basic things that you are learning about um, so once you apply the knowledge it actually is very quick and effective and it's not hard and a lot of times it could seem hard because you see it, the result that will be from that change as such a big meaningful thing in your life that naturally we expect it to to the effort that we are using to be equal to the result that we are looking for. But that is not true. That is not true at all. That is not the way the nature of this reality or any reality, <laughs> as far as I know, um, works. So you will not be rewarded for working hard, but you will be rewarded for shifting your vibration. You can change, you can shift your vibration very effectively, very, um, I want to say smoothly. Um, and it's not going to seem like you're doing much, but when you're doing it the right way, and I'm not saying that to sell any idea or sell any product, that doesn't matter. If you're doing it the way that actually shifts your vibration and is actually changing your, 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 um, your point of attraction, then it won't seem that different, but it'll feel lighter. Okay. And that's what you're going for. You're going for the feeling of lightness. Um, so when you say it's so hard to ignore reality for so long, you haven't actually been ignoring reality the way that is required to ignore reality in order for you to manifest what you want. And I, I'm not at all meaning to say that you're not working hard enough or you're not putting enough effort in or you're not um, trying hard enough. It's probably the opposite. You're probably trying too hard and you're too focused on it and 
if you are actually, you can't just ignore something without replacing it with something else. You need to replace what you don't want that you're seeing with your senses, with your physical senses, and you need to replace that with what you prefer. So there's two things you can focus on, what you're seeing or what you're imagining, right? And the brain does not know the difference. So if you, if you care about the science behind it, it's actually that your brain doesn't know the difference. If you're behaving as the person who um, is the person who is reflective of what your past manifestations are, then that's what you're going to keep manifesting. If you're behaving as the person who, vibrationally, as the person who um, already has a, a other things that you prefer, then that is the experience that you'll be having. Um, so it's not, you can't, you can't just ignore what's going on around you. You have to kind of acknowledge and give it that much that, okay, this is what I see around me. And that's because it's a reflection of what I've done until now with my thoughts and my feelings. And that's okay. It must, it might be frustrating. I might not know exactly how I created that because I thought I was being positive. I thought I was ignoring it, but that's okay. So just put that aside. And forgive yourself because it's not a big deal. We do it all the time. Whatever. You are not wanting what your senses are seeing right now. Okay. And that's okay. Now shift your perspective to your imagination. And what... Because if, if what we create in our life is an illusion, then what you're... If your imagination is, is an illusion, what you see as an illusion, then so is this physical reality. Just because our senses are interpreting it as physical and as an actual real reality doesn't mean anything. So you're focusing on the illusion of life or the illusion of your imagination, if you, if you want to see it that way, because that, that helps me. So, um, so now focus on what you're doing in your imagination. Allow your imagination to accept certain things as true for you. And allow yourself to displace what your physical senses are seeing, those emotions, with the emotions of already experiencing things that you would prefer to experience. Um, you don't have to go through every day ignoring what you... If you're doing, that, if you're doing it that way, then after a couple days or even less, you won't feel like you have to ignore what's around you because ignoring what's around you is really hard if you're not replacing it with focusing on something else. So focus on what your desire is because your desire is put in you for a reason. If you desire something, then it is meant to be. It is meant to come through you. Um, and so give it that much, you know, give it that much to give it that much attention and focus, you know, because you already gave attention and focus to what's around you. That's why it's there. That's why it got there in the first place. Give attention and focus to what you prefer, the things that you want, the things that make you feel good inside. And you know how they make you feel because that's how you started thinking of it in the first place. Because the contrast that you've experienced, you know what more or less it feels like to experience what you prefer. So linger in that and let that grow. Let that feeling grow. Let it feel natural. Make it like it's not about ignoring what you're seeing in front of you. It's about tuning away from it for a little bit every once in a while and allowing your imagine what's in your imagination to grow and to feel real to you. Um, and after a couple times, that will feel pretty normal to you. Um, you may or not you may not feel crazy at, in the beginning, but but it's you don't have to feel crazy about it because you know that you're just shifting your focus. That's it. Um, so the harder you think it is, the harder it's going to be for you. And it's, it's not going to show up the way it's meant to show up. Just be light about it, first of all, because it's okay. This is a process. It's a journey. We, we are all going through phases of, um, you know, of contrast and alignment. Alignment with what we want, alignment with what we don't want. And we just weave in and out of it. And this is life and this is just how it is. And um, enjoy the process. Appreciate the process for what it is. And you don't have to ignore something for a long time in order for what you want to replace it. It's the opposite. Just tell yourself, this is okay. It exists because of some vibration I had going on. And now I choose to focus on this. And let me go back to the question. It says, um, first seven years, I don't think I'm doing something wrong. So it's not that you're doing something wrong. It's just that you haven't actually implemented or you haven't actually implemented what you need to implement implement and it's 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 a very basic thing the love attraction is very basic and people don't 
like to hear that all the time. Professionals don't like to hear that all the time. People who are um, trying to make it seem complicated to you don't want you to maybe grasp, maybe grasp how simple it is because they know that you feel like it's not simple and that you feel like it's complicated and you may feel better when someone tells you, hey, this stuff is not simple. People are oversimplifying it. It's complicated and you need to know exactly how it works. You need to know exactly how, therefore, 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 you need to hire them. You need to buy their product, whatever. People hire me too and I might have products. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying that you don't never let anyone make you think that the solution to anything that you want is complicated. The reason it feels complicated is because we've complicated our lives. So we refuse to accept that the solution is simple. Um, solutions are always simple, um, regardless of how complicated the problem or the, the um, circumstance seems. Okay. Um, if hopefully that answered your question, if you have any other questions, please um, comment down below. And if you guys like this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe and you haven't done so yet, uh, please do so and hit the bell. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.